Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Bozza here, and today's video is about feet. It's about foot positioning. And it's different for everybody. So I think too often we think about, well, where should my feet be in comparison to someone else? Whereas your range of motion might be different, so therefore you need a different setting. Think about it this way, and I'm going to generalize and I'm going to give you two ends of the continuum, you're probably somewhere in the middle. Are you ducky? So ducky walks with the feet out. Or are you the pigeon walks with the feet in? If you walk like that, it's probably because your hip and the range of motion is different. You know, the person that's pigeon is towed in is a bit tighter so their range of motion is they're not going to be able to work out as far and it's the opposite the other way if you if you're ducky you probably like having them out don't like having them in so what you need to understand is if your range of motion is different in your hip your like basic normal is going to be different to somebody that has a very different hip structure so if you walk towed in you're going to like a setup that is far more straight feet or even slightly in. If you walk a bit like a duck, you're probably going to want them splayed out. So don't be put off if your positioning is a bit strange compared to other people. So let's say you really like to have them this way. You know, you might need to set up this way. If you're not sure, so you go, well, I'm not sure if I'm a duck and I'm not sure if I'm a pigeon. You might go as far as saying you're not a duck and you're not a pigeon. This is the best way to work it out. Isolate the foot, turn it in as far as you can, turn it out as far as you can. Where you want to put your foot is smack bang in the middle of those two movements. So to keep it simple, so if you look at my foot, if I can turn it onto the target line, and then I can turn it onto the target line this way, I would have my foot completely square if I only turn it so I, I had a I had a lady in a in-person lesson yesterday she could only turn here and then she could turn all the way that way so her midpoint is her foot needs to be splayed open and it looks like it's really open but the point of the video is it's not open to her structure it's open to our definition because we define it against the target line, but it is not open against how her hips, her knees, her ankles want it to be. So don't be put off if you need a position which is slightly different. You might have one foot that's straight, one foot that's out because we've got tightness in our body. And it's why maybe having a TPI screen can be really, really helpful to find out where those tightnesses are and where you could maybe improve, where you're really good, where you're not so good. But just working out actually if it feels good maybe you should just put your feet in that position but don't be afraid to next time you're on the range changing it around a little bit and you might be surprised you can feel better move better you'll swing the club quicker you'll hit the ball further more consistent all because of your feet although I'm now showing you with my hands and getting confusing so I'm gonna stop the video there thanks for watching get some comments down below are you somebody that has been making sure they have it dead straight because they thought that's what they should do, even though it feels a little rubbish? If you're that person, next time you're on the range, have a little play. Some good golf might be right around the corner for you. Hope to catch you soon.